Well, let's take a look at a Corgi Rockets Volvo P1800. Simon Templar's car, the Saint. No wheels. More unfortunately, this side of the bumper and the headlight have gone. Glass doesn't look too bad, slightly blued. Remains of his sticker, all the colours gone. They replay one, no paint on the roof. This is the first of a two parter, I hope, because I've also got I've also got the Jaguar to do which um, the Saint 2 Ian Ogilvy drove the V12 and of course Roger Moore who later went on to be James Bond drove the Volvo P1800 I read an article in Practical Classics that um, it wasn't going to be a Volvo they wanted an E-Type Jaguar but um, thought the um, sill was too high for Roger Moore to keep jumping in and out of quite quickly and they did get the Volvo cheap from Volvo. Looking at it, it looks like, if you can see that there, this post's got some damage too. So this is um, not a good example you'd say. Anyway, let's see if we can rescue it. First thing is, get the Corgi Rockets um, under carriage off. I haven't done this often. Normally flicks up. There we go. It's particularly stubborn this one. We'll probably need that if we can get some tyres and some wheels and some axles. Right, two rivets. Let's get a drill and get them out. Not sure if that's perfectly true, chose a small drill start getting into there. I just need to move up to a slightly larger one, I think. I think that might be enough. And indeed it is. So now we can see the missing and damaged part there quite corroded as well nice blue though I'm pretty sure it wasn't blue in the um, in the TV series glass isn't too bad and of course we've got the, um, the body itself which overall, apart from the chip paint and that, is intact. So not much to our little Volvo, but um, potentially a major headache there. The first thing I'm going to do is drop our little Volvo into some nitro mortars for about 30 or 40 minutes. And she's submerged. And lift out our little Volvo. There's more damage to this Volvo than the first part. The front pillars damaged. Base is obviously damaged in two places. Right, we'll just get it, get it on there. hook out, wipe off as much as we can and we'll, we'll get that in a bath of water and get it cleaned up. 
Here is our little Simon Temple Volvo and I've just been looking at the um, casting marks. You can see on this side I've taken one that went right round there. This side I haven't touched it yet. So that's a genuine line, the bonnet line there. That isn't and it goes all the way down. This is a genuine coach line as well. So all I've been using is this little rounded file that I've got here and just gently getting getting into there slowly you can see it's more accurate than a piece of wet and dry emery cloth <coughs> And then I get maybe a flat file and go around the edges here. But I've got to be careful not to take that line around the wheel arch as well. So it's quite a delicate and slow job because you, can, you can't use the full length of the file. You're just chipping away at it like that with the end. Sorry, I keep knocking the camera. Just chipping away at it like that with the end. Unfortunately, that's 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 the way progress is sometimes. It can take ages to move a small bit, yet on a larger model, you can get the power tool out, the multi-tool, and it'll be gone in seconds. So what I'm off to do is finish that, give it a better polish, go over it with some 1200, some 2000, and get it into primer. Oh look, just spotted there's no line there. You often spot things after primer, but there's no line. And it's that side too, so they've got to go as well. Get back to you. Okay, I've cleared the casting lines. I found another one there. I've cleared that one there on both sides and that one. I'm going to go over it with some fine emery. Something like 1200 and then get it into primer, see how it goes. Now Martin sent me, I'm sure you recognise, as a Volvo P1800, Corgi Rockets, the first Saint, Simon Templar's car, and I was talking to him on the DMC community on Facebook. I've been struggling to cast this front headlight. It is extremely small. To cast out of resin and I wanted to finish my Saint Duo so Martin sent me this complete and very tidy one to complete my Saint Duo. Here is our donated Corgi Rockets P1800 Volvo base. Just going to give it a clean with some Auto Sol. Okay, there's our base, nice and shiny, Corgi Rockets. I do use a wire brush towards the end because you get build-ups. Like there's still a little bit clip like cleaning dirt. It's got stuck between the lettering or other detailed parts. You just have to get in there with a cocktail stick like that or a brush. And just get it out so I'll have a close look at that I did use two wheels that like fuzzy felt wheel and the fluffy wheel as well so um, get back to the rest of it now right here's our Volvo screen interior and base that's going to go into the old sonic cleaner and I do tend to put a few things in at once now so I've got some wheels and I've got a bit of Fiat X19 going in with it too. So I'll be getting on with that. A 
and there is a little Volvo out the old Sonic cleaner. I've just done one side of the wheels with a black marker pen so you can see the difference. I'll do the others. Just needed a toothbrush in there once it came out. You do get bits of dirt clinging to it but they're loose and the screen has come up really really well and as you can see got two decals ready to go so get back to you at assembly right we're at the assembly stage of our Volvo looking nice in its white now I didn't drill the holes out on this because thought what I thought was a they're very small I haven't at the moment got any rivets to fit in them I'll put some glue around the hole and that will fix it it's quite a firm fit anyway. So um, without further ado, let's put our glass in, which just had a little polish. It's not been in the furniture polish. That goes in there like that. Then our interior pops into place, keeps the glass in. Take a look at that, all looks good. Right, we're now in a position to just pop this body on the base. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing. So backwards, lights in. Over the base. And I've just pressed it together in that rubber glove to try and avoid any prints. And as you can see, she's looking really, really nice. That's a tight fit anyway at the front with all that paint, so it ain't going to come off. Right, we'll leave that there for a while now. Next job will be to just um, clip the wheels in. And put the decals on. Right. It's time to put the wheels in. So it's just a matter of getting them over. I don't know if you heard that. Firm click and they're in. And there's our little Simon Templar car. Quite a good roller. Quite a good roller. Just the decal to put on. Okay, we're ready to go with a decal. Just going to put a bit of water on there. And hopefully we might get it on first time. Let's have a look. Bit of micro salt onto there now. It's a bit of micro salt. And that will help that decal take the shape of that bonnet. Roll it out now. Incidentally, as well as helping put decals on, Microcell can help you take them off if they don't look right. And there we have our decal on. The next time you see it, should be on the turntable. Well, this is what we started with. A very plain one. Corgi Rockets Volvo P1800S Tatty to say the least Well, here is our Corgi Rockets Volvo P1800 The Saint car Back to 
close to its original condition hopefully. Now Corgi first made this not in rocket form but um, in 1961 Corgi made the 228 and then they revised that into the Saints car and then in 1970-72 they made this Corgi Rockets number 905 because the other one was a great success I think they sold over 1.6 million or something the TV series of the Saints starring Roger Moore ran from 1962 to 69 it was sold to over 60 countries around the world and made 350 million pounds profit in its 120 episodes and of course Roger Moore went on to I think make seven Bond films so this is the second Saint car I did I did the Jaguar XJS of Ian Ogilvy a few weeks ago I do hope you've liked this video as you see this little corgi rocket go round. So please like and subscribe if you do. This video is going out around Christmas time. So happy Christmas, happy holidays, season's greetings to you all. And here are the two of them together. The XJS from the Return of the Saint with Ian Ogilvy and the original Volvo P1800 with Roger Moore, both as Simon Templar. And there is our Corgi Rockets in the cabinet with some recent restorations taking centre stage. Hope to see you soon for the next re restoration. And if you look closely, it's a double Volkswagen restoration.